everyone? It's Kurt with Watch My Pipe. Wanted to put a, I guess you could call it a Yabo out there. I know it's been a while since I've done one, um, but if you've been following a couple of the other videos and if you're following me on Instagram, um, for my birthday, I ordered a, a whole bunch of stuff from different websites. Um, one of which is either lost stuck in customs no one seems to know what's going on uh, it was sh shipped from canada from mike and uh, as you probably already know if you've seen the other videos i ended up um, purchasing uh, the table that mike got from castello the uh, one that opens up um, it's lost no one knows where it's at so uh started uh, the process to file a claim with uh, UPS. It's now been, I think, 12 days now. Um, so, see what happens. But, got some other stuff. Um, still another package on the way from uh, Luca at Tobacchiana Corti. Um, he, if you already don't know, he has probably the best selection of Castello pipes out there. Um, he also sells Sir, Sashakapo, um, Tom Eltang, I mean, a whole bunch of different ones, but Castello, he, his shop is only, and I talk to him regularly, actually. He's a very cool dude. So I talk to him like once a week at least, and he tells me about different stuff that he's looking at uh, at the factory because he's only like 30 minutes away. Um, and Castello just did a run of large size Shape 55s. Um, I forget if he said he's getting them sporadically or if he's putting them up sporadically, but um, he's got a whole line. Um, some of them are um, the funky shapes. Um, in any case, over the past week or so, he's been putting them up. I'm assuming he's, get, he's putting them up as he's getting them. But uh, if you're interested in the Shape 55 like myself, please go check out the website. I'll leave it here. I typically always leave it once every once in a while. So go check out his website. Um, stupid, ridiculous number of pipes from Costello. The prices are absolutely stupid. No, I don't get paid to talk him up. I'm just a very good friend of his. Mike introduced me to him. Um, and it's nice to build relationships. I've been in this... Uh, industry of customer service for a very long time and the one thing I've learned in 25 years is when you meet someone and you have similar interests you know you you, you build and maintain that and it's one of the things I like about the um, YouTube pipe community it's uh, very very welcoming kind um, I mean I, I just can't say enough good things about you guys you guys are awesome but um, had a whole bunch of stuff come through from pipes and cigars, from smoking pipes, from tobacco Corte, from Mike at Briar Blues. You know, I, I, I hit a lot of uh, pipes and cigars. You know, I, I hit a whole bunch of uh, different places, hit them up for some stuff. So I wanted to share some of that stuff because I know, you know, everyone's obsessed with uh, pipes and tobacco like I am, and uh, we love these yabos. So it's kind of a conglomerate of things. Um, some of the stuff was stupid, like, uh, you know, pipe cleaners, Stuff like that, you know, that's not in this. So um, I took the interesting stuff. I was hoping to do a video with the, uh, or I was waiting, because it's been over two weeks now since my birthday. I've been waiting for this uh, darn table uh, to come from Mike, and Mike shipped it <laughs> two weeks ago. I'm still waiting. So um, I'll have to do it without it, and maybe I'll do some updates, you know, as I get information from UPS or Customs. Customs cleared it. Uh, customs cleared it on Monday. I got that confirmation. Uh, Mike has been awesome. Um, and most of you already know Mike. I mean, uh, he, he's been above and beyond to help me with this, to try and get this uh, out of the customs warehouse. So let's just get into this. I'm rambling. Um, I know my videos go long enough as it is. But um, got a whole bunch of different pipes. Like I said, uh, the stuff from um, Luca hasn't. Uh, come in. It'll probably be here, I would say, Monday or Tuesday next week. But I wanted to get this video out because just like everything uh, with business right now at work, crazy busy. I was actually supposed to be off today, 
and ended up getting stuck working and it's now three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, watch check. Gold Rolex. Um, so I've been stuck doing work. I got a couple issues that popped up and you got to take care of business. So uh, I'm waiting on a couple answers. Uh, the problem is, is our company is technically on a, on a company holiday. So um, I, I got I to try to ping a couple people to try and get some of these issues fixed. So it's been an interesting day. So let's start with the box. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in this one, but I kind of threw most everything in here for right now. Um, so uh, ended up getting uh, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five pipes, uh, the table, and another interesting little thing here, which I think I actually mentioned before. But um, take these out of the boxes here to show you. Uh, if you do follow me on Instagram, I have put some of this stuff up already. But I want to start with this one because this is pretty cool. I've seen um, a couple other people do this. I've seen Mike do this. And I went to Pipes and Cigars and picked out a blend to do your own you know, blend kit, if you will. So got the steel bowl from them. And then got the two mixtures. So we got... Uh, <laughs> It's called Y35-TP plus BG0600, blend number 35, six ounce bag. And Y31TP plus BG0200. So what this is supposed to be is a match to baby's bottle. So I'm going to probably try to do a video um, blending this in the very near future. So keep your eyes out for that. Hopefully I'll do that soon. Um, next, this was this was a pipe, another pipe actually from Luca at uh, Tabac Area Corti. And this is a very special looking bent bulldog. What's uh, really unique is not just the uh, the Sea Rock finish with the um, smooth rim, but the as you can see here, it has a ruby swirl color stem, which I thought was very unique. Oops, I'm I'm looking at the pipe and I'm not looking to make sure this isn't the shot. So here is the, uh, I'm trying to get, let's see, there you go. So you can see some of the swirl there. Looks really cool. Uh, sad thing is, is I get some of these pipes sometimes and I'm afraid to smoke them. <laughs> so I know I'll get to it eventually, but, um, so that's, uh, number one. Um, number two, and I'm skipping ahead a little bit here, but number two is one of two, uh, pipes that have been on my Grail pipe list. So I am extremely lucky, I guess is the best way to call it, to, to find both of these pipes in such short time together because I've actually been looking for these for a long time and then poof, these both showed up basically at the same time. Um, I shouldn't have gotten both because... If you know, and you'll see what these are, these are very expensive pipes. Um, so I went a little bit overboard, but you know what? You only live once and you got to enjoy life, right? So this one is the Dunhill Tan Shell Bent Bulldog. And we're going to come back to that in a second. And then the other... I already put the other box away, otherwise I would have opened the other box, but another is another Dunhill, and this is a tan shell group four pickaxe. So those are, or were now, <laughs> my two grill pipes that I've wanted for quite some time. And I am extremely lucky, fortunate, and grateful.
for many things in life, including the opportunity to get these. So, again, there's two other pipes that I got from Luca that I'm still waiting on. One's a Radice, another is a Castello Shape 55. Um, it took me two weeks to pick which one I wanted because, like I said, um, he got a batch of triple G size shape 55s. Uh, so he let me know before he posted them. He, he let me know everything that was coming. Um, and they, again, as I said, I think they were coming sporadically because he's been posting them, I think, as he's been getting them. So I knew what was coming. I knew it was already there. And it took me two weeks to make up my mind. And I even said to Luca, I sent him a message back saying, you know, I'll figure out what I want. You know, I, if, if it sells, it sells, you know, maybe they'll help me make up my mind. Uh, if someone buys the other one, I'll just buy the, the other one of the few that I was interested in. Um, but when push comes to shove, the second Radice drop that he had came through. So I wanted to get on in that. There was a paneled Shape 55 Radice. So I jumped in on that and got the natural virgin C rock. And if you didn't see my Instagram post the other day, I've been doing a couple of these because I'm just fascinated with how this is starting to really take shape and develop. So you can, can see how brown or dark brown, I should say, because they're generally about, but it's a light brown when it comes oops, from the Costello factory. Um, and this is really starting to take shape. Let me see. Look at the bottom. Yeah, even there, it's still. As as you smoke these pipes, they will start to develop a patina, and I, I've just been fascinated. Every time I smoke it, I can see it getting darker as I use it. Another example would be the Sea Rock, which is right behind me, and I know my eye. Focus thing is going to throw the box up there. I love that thing. So here's another one. Um, this one's a little bit lighter because I also have not smoked this one as well. Um, I just love the look and the shape of this. And I'll probably smoke it one day. But uh, this is still unsmoked. But I, I just love the look and the finish, how much it's darkening. Um, but I can tell you, this was a very bright, light-colored, um, tan uh, tannish brown, if you will. And, you know, you can see how much the brown has darkened uh, over months of time. So, that's that one. Now, outside of the uh, blend kit, um, one of the other videos that I want to start doing, and I'm hoping to start it this weekend, is... When I purchased the Dunhill, I have a, a brick and mortar store that I go to, and he had a basket pipe there that looks very similar. I'll show it to you here in a second. But I had an idea that I would break both of these in at the same time and smoke them once a week, both at the, you know, not the same time, obviously, but um, smoke a blend in them, you know, through the week, once a week, and see what my first impressions are, you know, every week, maybe do a little, you know, quick video here to let you know what's going on. So here's a pipe. So you saw the first one. So obviously we got the uh, Dunhill here. Okay. And then we have the basket pipe. Now this looks like it's a filtered pipe, but it's not. Um, it's got a very, very thick shank, but uh, I, I had seen that. I mean, it's, it's technically since it's rounded, it's a Rhodesian. But um, it, it was close enough. So I'm going to do a series with these two to see how they smoke. You know, because you have a very expensive Dunhill, same group and shape essentially as this. So I want to see if there's a really true difference in buying, and, and this is an Italian pipe, by, by the way. Um, see the difference between this, how this smokes, compared to this. So I will be hopefully starting 
that this weekend. And then just a quick update on crumble cake. Tomorrow I will uh, film and post the, and I apologize about the cat in the background, if you can even hear that, she uh, she's upstairs causing chaos. But uh, crumble cake, Red Virginia, I want to make sure I grab the right one. Crumble cake, Red Virginia. Um, I have not, full disclosure, have not smoked as many bowls of this. Um, trying not to get too ahead of myself. The sweetness, the tart, I wouldn't say is overwhelming, but uh, this is definitely not an all-day blend. This is not even a every-other-day blend. So I've been on, off, on, off um, smoking this. So um, yesterday was a day off. I will smoke this uh, in a pipe later today um, and give some thoughts. And I actually have an idea with this, so... Um, there might be something unique I'm going to try with this here. Uh, hopefully, I'll, re I'll share with that uh, share that with you tomorrow. But um, that's uh, where I'm at right now. The pipe collection is uh, growing. Um, I did hit and go back and then hit and go back. I've been doing this fun tug of war of uh, 100 subscribers. Um, I do want to throw a quick shout out to Martin. Martin was the original number one. Um, a lot of people hide their identity, so I can't see some of you, but um, I am working on a 100 subscription gaw that I will probably announce sometime either right before or after the 4th of July. I know there's a ton of um, videos going around right now for VRs, and trust me, I know because I've been called out in a few of them and I've already done like one out of the three so far. So I got to I got to get on this. So I know that everyone's time is uh, limited. So I want to let some of these play out. And I also really haven't decided what I'm going to do. I have a couple ideas. I pretty much narrowed it down to two, one of which I don't think anyone's ever done before. Um, but it's asking a lot. So I'm kicking around. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But. I probably will make an announcement about that once I've you know solidified the 100 because, like I said, over the past week and a half, it's gone forward, back, forward, back. So um, hopefully, hopefully we'll get that locked in and it'll continue to grow. And I will announce, like I said, probably either right before the week of or the weekend of or maybe right around the 4th of July. Um, I have a lot of um, ideas that uh, I've gone through um, and exactly what... Uh, my giveaway is going to be, and uh, I think everyone's going to want to participate. So, gosh, I don't even know how long this video is now. Oh, it's not too bad. You know, my videos are usually 20 plus minutes long. We're only at 18 minutes right now. So, um, I hope all of you are well. I know there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world right now. Um, just hang in there. You know, we're getting through this. You know, all the mask mandates uh, pretty much have either started to come down or come down. Everyone's starting to or getting their shots. You know, that's of everyone's free will. That's one of the beautiful things about living in this country is having free will. So I'm going to get out of here. I got, like I said, I got to go open my computer back up, uh, check on some work here. I'll let this run in the background while I'm returning some emails, do some editing, and get this video up. Hopefully, uh, you were able to get in on my last video with the McClellan drop. Holy cow, did they sell out quick. I thought Esoterica was bad. Um, it did, I don't think it crashed the site, but I went in, ordered my stuff. I got the confirmation, so I know I got my order, but I went in, put my order in, um, was able to process the video very quickly because it was only a minute long. I processed that video, got it up on YouTube very quickly, like with less than five minutes. And when I went back to go look to see what else there was, because I was looking for two or three specific blends and only one of them was there, the frog on the log. So I grabbed that. I, you know, you got to be fast on these. So I grabbed the 50 and hundred gram Tim, hit by, got in, got out. I'm thankful. Went back to go see literally what else there was. I didn't even look because you can't, you don't have time to look. And it was already sold out already. So I don't even know if my video was even any help for anybody. But hopefully if you got that, you got in on that. Uh, that was a, a complete shock surprise. Um, it didn't even generate the, uh, you know, the if some of you, I'm probably sure you know, um, the secret 
um, notification system uh, that's out there. Um, I, I, I was given that in confidence. I don't know if I should share that, but um, it's pretty cool. So hopefully you got in on that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to work on some more week, uh, weekend videos. Like I said, first impressions for Crumble Cake, for Red Virginia. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do next. So um, hope all you're doing well. Um, I'll get you posted on the uh, table if I get any updates. Uh, like I said, at this point, I'm just hoping that it's still in one piece and it wasn't stolen, quite honestly. Um, but... Uh, Take care, everyone. I will talk to you again soon. Thank you for joining, and uh, hopefully you've made it to the end of this video. I appreciate you watching these and uh, liking these and putting the comments in. I uh, love uh, responding to your comments to you guys. Uh, there's a special couple people out there that always reply, um, and trust me, I, I had, like I said, I have an idea for the gall, and um, I, I, I want to make sure that a certain number of you out there know and appreciate that I appreciate you. So. Take care, be safe, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you again soon.